Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Tanner Dobson here, and in this video we're going to be going over a dental restoration that we did for a patient who ended up developing a pretty large cavity in their lateral incisor. And before we get into the clinical footage, here's an x-ray showing this large dark spot that has developed between the teeth. And this is a large cavity that is getting pretty close to the nerve. Uh, fortunately, the patient was not symptomatic at this point, but if left untreated, this cavity is certainly going to reach the nerve and cause a toothache and a dental infection, which would need to be treated with a root canal. So basically what we're going to do is remove that tooth decay and replace it with a bonded dental restoration or filling. Um, and once we have uh, accessed the tooth decay, we're going to remove it with this uh, slow speed carbide burr. Tooth decay is essentially a bacterial infection of a tooth that causes it to go soft and so it, it peels away quite easily uh, when we instrument it with this, this slow speed carbide burr. Now that all the tooth decay is removed uh, we're just going to refine the margins of the tooth with this high speed diamond burr and occasionally when a cavity goes below the gums like it did in this case uh, we'll actually remove the gum tissue so that we can see the margin of the of the cavity. And so we're using this uh, electrocautery unit to ablate the gum tissue until we have reached uh, the clean margin of the tooth for better access. So this is a this is a tooth that's now ready to be filled in. And before we can place our filling, we need to place this uh, little plastic band to hold it in place. So we're just gonna put the band in between the teeth and then we're gonna stabilize it using this plastic wedge. So the wedge gets placed to stabilize the plastic band. And now this tooth is ready to be filled in with our dental filling material. But before we can do that, we actually have to uh, condition the surface of the tooth to basically clean it so that we have a strong bond between the tooth and our filling material. So we're going to use this conditioner, this blue gel that sits on the tooth for just five seconds, which kind of dissolves all of the surface impurities. And then we're going to rinse it off and then dry it a little bit and now we're ready to place our filling material. Uh, it comes in this capsule that gets mixed up and then we're basically just going to inject it into the tooth. I'll typically overfill the cavity and then pack it in place with this cotton pellet. The light curing unit is going to set the material and then once the material has been cured and set, it's hardened and we're going to remove all of the excess filling material until we're back to the margin of the tooth uh, as it looked before we started working on it. So we're just going to do that with this carbide flame burr. And, and that's basically how a filling is done. This was a successful result because um, the patient uh, on follow-up did not have any symptoms of toothache or infection. The tooth was vital before we worked on it and, uh, and we would expect a good long-term outcome from this procedure. We will uh, we'll coat the filling material with this varnish to seal everything up and make it nice and smooth to the tongue. Check it with the floss and that's basically how a simple class three dental filling is performed. Thanks for watching.